All right. Hi, everyone. It's Friday, March 4th. Yay. Hopefully, spring is here. Hi, Diane. Hi, Tamara. I just emailed Diane recently. Yay. Tamara and Joan. <sighs> awesome. All right. Let me make sure this is showing up over on this other site here. And then we'll get into it. I'm so excited. This is one of my favorite projects. Come on and say hi. <laughs> Ramel is here. Yay. I have a bad hair day, but it's, okay. <laughs> it's all right. We don't care. <laughs> Yay. So happy he's here to help me with the cameras and stuff. Make sure everything is looking good. I'm going to raise this a little bit. There we go. Okay, so today I am going to show you all. I'm going to sew this whole thing because I can make a clear zipper pouch like this in about 12 minutes. Not rushing, like not hurrying. It's really so simple because you're only doing one piece on each side of the zipper and you're done. It is amazingly simple. And it looks cute and fun. And I can, if you see these little divots or wrinkles in the vinyl, don't worry about that because I had to uh, bring this right side out. Once I hit it with the blow dryer, all that comes out and it's totally smooth again. You just need a little warm air. If you don't have a hair dryer or blow dryer, you can set it in the sun in, a, in your windowsill or even outside. And just the sunlight on the vinyl will smooth it all out again. So don't worry. I make these so often. I keep all kinds of stuff. Like these are my little labels that I get a lot made at once because they're imported. So I just keep them in this. And this is a tutorial that I have on SoHungryHippie.com. I should probably do the video because this is um, a favorite. So I've done that one. I make them um, even bigger and with bigger boxed corners. This has a bunch of, I think this is scraps from clothing. Yeah, it is. So I made pants with these fabrics and I, I keep the little remnants because you, you know, sometimes you want a rice pack or something little and the, the garment, this is rayon. I love rayon against the skin. It just feels so silky ish and smooth and it's you know a natural fiber pretty sure rayon is a natural fiber <laughs> i always doubt myself when i say things as fact um i have several pillowcases made with rayon that i love in the summer okay so there's that oh here's another one i made out of clear glitter vinyl with a bunch of scraps in it see all those solid scraps that's how i keep scraps more organized as i just put them in a bunch of these zipper cases. So that's, that's what we're doing today. It's so simple. It's so fast. I'm going to do it from start to finish. So you don't have any worries. Ramel is going to monitor comments and let me know if we have urgent questions. Um, Peggy is asking, where do I get my labels? So I know now there are many independent small businesses like um, off the top of my head, I can think of Kylie and the machine, but I was uh, importing these like a decade ago before anyone had a small business doing this um, stateside. So I actually stuck with my, uh, I don't know, would you call them factory in Hong Kong? So I can definitely put that in the comments. They're called Worldwide Label and they're on Etsy and it's coming here from Hong Kong. So, but you know, I'm ordering 2000 at a time. So if you don't want that many, you can try a smaller <clears throat> independent uh, stateside manufacturer now, which is so nice, right? Okay. Yes. Rayon is made from cellulose, Maryland. I thought so. I thought I was going to say it's made from trees, <laughs> but in the moment I was like, I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. Lauren's here from Missouri, Missouri, Missouri. It's only my second live. Yay. Oh my gosh. So glad you're here. All right. Super spectacular. What I'm going to do is transition to the overhead camera because today I am making this case out of blue vinyl. I always choose pink 
pink or clear, pink or clear. And I thought, well, blue will show up well on camera. So let's do it out of blue. I have blue, teal, yellow, hot pink, clear, all in the shop. And I also have the clear glitter, the clear glitter stars, the, you know, all the other printed ones, which will also work. I will mention if it's your first time, you want to stick with the 10 gauge vinyls that I have because they're just a little bit more malleable, a little softer. I have some 12 gauges, which a lot of people love. Uh, the leopard, the white hearts, the white stars, I'm trying to think what else. I can't think of anything else at the moment, but those are 12 gauge. So they're just a teensy bit thicker and stiffer to turn out. So you definitely, whenever I sew the leopard, uh, I want my hair dryer close by because I just warm it up before I turn it right sides out. Okay. All right, let me switch to the overhead view and we'll get right into this. I'm gonna push my keyboard out of the way here. Don't worry, you don't have to switch anything yet, Ramel. Okay. okay, so there that is. I've got my cutting mat down here. I'll straighten it out a touch. So I have pre-cut my pieces but I'm gonna do it again because we want you guys to see how easy this is to cut. So we're gonna cut two pieces. I like this size. This size case is really usable. Look, I have my sewing machine. <laughs> I could have made it smaller, I guess. But we're gonna cut it 12 inches wide by eight and a half tall. So I'm gonna move, oh, I guess maybe I should back it up a little bit. Back it up, back it up. There we go. Oh, yeah, you can see my feet. So I'm going to measure from this side and go to 12. And I'm just using my normal rotary cutter blade. I'm not pressing hard, nothing. Look, it just cuts like butter. And then I'm going to turn it sideways and go to eight and a half with my ruler, make sure I'm straight. I am. I'm gonna leave it right there. Eight and a half and eight and a half is 17, I think. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so there it is. Woo -woo. Pieces are ready. So I'll get rid of my scrap. Now remember, I always do this. You guys know the drill. The zipper is gonna be one inch less wide than the pouch. So I cut off the butt already, that zipper stop end. And for this, I'm going to get a little closer. Get a little closer. Remember that toothpaste in the 80s? It was called Close Up and it was red. That was their commercial. Did you know that, Ramel? Uh, no. I, the theme song was Get a Little Closer. I know the song. It just <laughs> might have been in Spanish. Might have been in Spanish. Okay, so I'm going to measure here so I'm still on screen. And I'm measuring over to 11 inches because the pouch is 12. So we want our zipper to be 11 inches long. So I'm just going to bring the zipper pull back so I don't cut it off. Yes, I've done that before. Don't judge me. And I'm going to cut it. Okay, so now the zipper is the perfect size. And we're going to add our zipper tabs. So I'm just using fabric because it's super easy. This is a two by two square. I fold it and press and then fold it again and press. Same as all my patterns. I always, I generally keep the zipper pull the same. I mean, the zipper tabs the same. So then we're going to put it in here to touch the fold and bring this over. And I'm going to put a clip here. We're going to sew right over that. And then we never have the fear of losing the zipper pull. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. I already, I pre-pressed those so I wouldn't be taking forever for you guys. And then we're going to sew across there. A couple of things I want to mention. Having a whacker or a mallet, a rubber mallet can really help when you're sewing vinyl. Sometimes the seams might get thick and so you can just tap them with this kind of a hammer 
and it won't leave the dreaded uh, half moon marks that a normal hammer, a regular hammer would leave. Okay, get yourself one of these. I usually have these in the shop, not this kind, but the small handbag kind. I call them whackers in my shop, but the distributor has been out for a while. So I'll get those back as soon as I can. Another thing I use often is like this bone folder. Uh, when I'm pressing, I'll use this later and I'll show you how, but you don't need a fancy one like this. I don't, I probably got this at a garage sale, but it's, it's a Martha Stewart one. Anything will work. You also want to have clips because we can't use pins on this vinyl. The holes will never go away. We can't press them out. So get yourself some clips, some wonder clips. And then I like to have my Teflon scissors. It's not a must. I just cut so much vinyl that I like to have Teflon coated scissors. And these are Havels. That's what I've been using for years. Uh, all right, so here we go. We're going to keep going. Oh, I am going to take the foot off my machine and show you this up close. This is my Teflon foot. I really don't sew vinyl without a Teflon foot. I haven't had good luck with roller foot or walking foot if I'm sewing sticky vinyl. Now, my soft vinyl, you can use any foot. Oh, hi, Cindy. Yay. Uh, but this one... Like, just get a Teflon foot. It's just so much easier. It's so much easier. Okay, what I'm going to do, where did I put my mouse? I'm going to switch back over a second while Ramel comes in and switches the camera. Don't fall because I'm I, on a live and I cannot take you to the ER right now. I, I, do you <laughs> forget that I'm six foot? Oh, Oh my gosh, he doesn't even have to stand on a chair. What? That's right. Where's the remote? I had to stand on a chair last week. Hold on. Hold on. Don't flip it over yet. What? And the tape, the tape just fell. Oh, so just go back a little bit further. Okay. Looks good. And then I'll go like, look at that. Perfection. Oh my God. Perfection. Okay, hold on and I'll switch that. So, um, oh yeah, Leslie says... I've cut the zipper pull off too. Thank you. I don't feel so alone. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Yeah. Oh, it was deodorant. <laughs> it was arid. I thought it was close up with the toothpaste. She's like, no, it was arid. Amy knows all the weird trivia. You, any song you ever want to know, she knows who sang it. But she can't name celebrities, which I find hilarious. That reminds me of the Nelson Mandela effect. What's that? Nelson the, Mandela effect? The, the Mandela effect. Mandela effect. It's, it's something about things that you remember are not quite what they were. That's me all the time. That's called the Mandela effect? Yes. Oh, Manda yeah. Mandala. Like no, 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 like Mandela. Like not, Nelson Mandela. No, yes. not like, no. no. The, the, it's yeah. got to be like the design, like a, ma mm. is that called a mandala? No, I don't think so. <laughs> this is how we are. It's crazy. Um, the Mandela effect. M-A-N-D-E-L. -A. Amy says exactly. Don't even gang on, uh, on his side. Don't even. <laughs> Yay, Debbie's here. Debbie, I have to ask, um... I have something to ask you later. Let me. Okay. All right. I'm going to let you monitor comments. I'll come back to that. Um, here we go. Oh, Debbie Whitmer. She says, teamwork is dream work. <laughs> <laughs> Remind him of that when he, when I get on his nerves. Uh, oh, I, there was one more thing I wanted to mention. Someone last week was saying sometimes their vinyl sticks to the be the throat bed. Is that called the throat of your machine? I'm really doubting my vocabulary this week. It's been very weird. So I wanted to bring my little Teflon baking sheet thing over. This is the disposable kind. You can also have the ones where you just wash them clean. I have those somewhere. They're probably in my attic. But this. If you put it on your machine, let me switch the view now. Yeah, you want me to do it? No, I can, I can do it. Okay. I can do it. I can do it. 
So sometimes people will cut this down to size and put it on the throat of their machine and then tape it in place. And it just makes this surface really slick. So there's an idea for you. Okay, let me get to sewing. So first things first, isn't this funny how I switch back and forth? Huh? But, but you wanna see. So you we've got our two pieces. We are going to, oh, I didn't sew the zipper tabs on. First, we're gonna sew the zipper tabs on. And then we add it to the zipper. Uh, we add the, the zipper to the vinyl and we're done. I'm not even kidding, it's so fast. So I'm gonna do this real quick. You guys know how to sew a zipper, right? Or do you uh, say transition? Okay, go ahead. Well, the, uh, what do you wanna, you didn't show it there, there we go. I can, I can use this one thing that I got. No, no, it's okay, just leave it. Cause if we move stuff, it might mess up. I'll show you, let me know. Okay. Oh, fancy. It is fancy. All the things technology will do that I just can't keep in my head. So I'm just trimming that. Who was I even showing? I was trying to make sure. <laughs> I've only had one cup of coffee, but you would have thought I had 14. Okay. So you know the drill with this. This is how we do it. This is how we do. Who sang that song? Yeah, do you want to transition? That would be good. Oh, that uh -oh. wasn't the right one. Okay. There you go. So, oh, but we're not over. Okay. So we're going to sew this, but what I'm going to do is attach with clips first. We've got... The zipper is face down, so vinyl and zipper are right sides together, and the zipper is centered. You want to be sure you have about a finger width of space on each end, because that's where we sew the side seam allowance, and you're not going to sew over the zipper tabs. It'll be really great. So for this, I just find I have better results and better luck with a nice looking zipper when I put on my zipper foot. Mine looks like a skinny ski. Let me zoom in. Yeah, zoom in a little bit there. Thanks. Oh, dang. And then I have to put my needle over to the left. And I always do this first to make sure that I'm not going to hit my foot. But see how mine looks like a ski? So that is what I do. Pop on my foot. And then with this machine, I have to hold my thread when I start. Yep, there it goes. Now, I need to pull that head out of the way a little bit. And then when I get up close to it, I stop with my needle down, lift my foot, and zip that pull out of the way again. And then I'm going to start. Is that too close? Or do you think it looks okay? Can you tell what we're doing, Ramel? Because you don't sew. Uh, maybe don't back, have, maybe uh, back up just a little bit. I'm, I'm uh, very amazed. That's good. At what you can do here with this? I mean, machinery, technology. Just the machinery. Watch out. You're, okay, you're the okay. technological wizard, and I'm the mechanical wizard. There you go. There. Okay, so I just sewed right off the end. We got a comment here. All right. I'm going to post it. You can um, just, no, here, let me have the mouse. Let me, yeah. You have a question. <laughs> hold on, hold on. From Kat. Okay. Question away. Uh, you want to share it? That I yep. do. Do all the vinyls come with protect, protective plastic? I might have sewn it in using the heart vinyl. <laughs> That's hilarious. Not all of them. These do not come with a plastic film. For some reason, the factory that I buy from uh, does protectively film the heart, the leopard, the stars, the rainbow glitter stars, and the rainbow stripes. 
So a lot of times if it's starting to peel or looks crazy, sometimes I'll just pull it off. But I do like to try and keep that film intact when I ship because I think it protects against, you know, dust or like what, what if it is, what if when it's shipping, mm -hmm. you know, like, do you ever think maybe the UPS person, like what if a hair fell out? You know, it happens, right? A hair? A hair. What if that hair fell out of his head and went into the box and then landed on the vinyl? Oh, I thought you were talking about a hair like the, the, the rabbit hair. No. Okay. <laughs> I was over there. Who calls a rabbit a hair these days? Um, this is like 2020. Ooh, hello, not 1941. <laughs> anything is possible. That's true. <laughs> All right. We are going to put on the other side. Then we sew the sides and the bottom, do our little box corners, and we're done. Can you even believe it? So I'm going to transition. So cat, it's fine. It's not going to hurt anything. You know what you could do? You could probably take a little pin and like nick, a, nick it up and pull it out if you really wanted to. But I bet it's fine even with it in. Who cares? Right? Yes, so uh, I just spotted this, Arlene. I have such issues keeping my zipper neat and even when completing a pouch. So my question number one is, do you use a zipper foot? Because it's night and day. I didn't try my zipper foot for the first two years of my sewing life. And once I finally took time to put it on and read the paragraph in my manual on how to use it, I was just thinking, oh my gosh, why didn't I do that sooner? It's so much easier. Um, sometimes it can also be if you're subconsciously kind of pulling on the material, sometimes the zipper will wave. Or if the zipper is too long for the project, it'll buckle and wave. That can happen too. Um, <laughs> Kat says, no hairs, please. Yes. <laughs> Jack Rabbit from Texas. Okay, so Arlene, try the zipper foot. If you don't have one, it's worth getting one. They're, I think they're probably 10, 15 bucks to get one. I'm telling you, it's like night and day. Really, it really is. Try that. I have another question there. Um, Kathy, have you made them just one piece of vinyl? You can do that, totally. I The way I do box corners is I'm, I nest my bottom seam and the side seam, and I make it all like nesty and cute. And so it's just what I prefer. You can totally just use one piece like a loop. Yeah. It'll save some time. Just make sure when you do your corner, if you're doing boxed corners, that you get them even. <laughs> That's the only thing. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's go back to the table. And I'm going to actually, we're not going to move the camera again. So let's just. I can if you want. You really can? Yeah. All right, let's let's go to the table. I think it's easier. Don't, don't, not yet. I won't. Uh, I'm going to let you see how I attach the second side just so that nobody gets confused. Okay, perfect. So here's our piece. This has been sewn down the edge. By the way, I use Guterman all-purpose thread. I just have white in my machine. Right now, I have white and gray in the shop if you want to try it. You do want to use an all-purpose thread uh, most of the time when sewing vinyl. Some people, I know Elizabeth has a lot of luck with cotton, but I just never have it. Breaks. I didn't get that perfectly centered, but whatever. I still have a space. It'll be fine. So I'm going to lay that right on top. Actually, no, I'm not. Okay. That would be if we were doing a lining. Sorry. Sometimes I will top stitch this right away. I just press this down. See how I press that seam down? Can you zoom in? <clears throat> no, I think it's okay. So this is where we're at. I'm going to top stitch this and once this one is on at the same time. So we don't have to switch cameras. So take that open end of your zipper, the open side, and we're just doing the same thing. So if you want to flip it over, it's a little easier to line up. Make sure your sides are aligned. 
and then attach twists again. I'll, I'll move the camera angle. Okay. Yeah, now you can move it because we're going to hold on. Okay. So now we're just going to do the same thing and sew right down this edge again. We're good? Uh, let's see. Oh, I thought you were moving already. There you go. Oh, good job. Okay, so here we are. I'm just going to sew. See, my zipper foot, <clears throat> excuse me, my zipper foot is still on. On this machine, I have to manually make sure that my needle is down when, when I stop. So if you see me tap it, that's why. See, right there it stopped up. <laughs> I'm not pushing or pulling. <clears throat> Here I, I'm getting closer to that pull. So I'm gonna leave my needle down and move the pull. And then my foot back down, needle is still in it. There we are. Okay, so now can you, I'm sorry, can you bring it back over the table? Yeah. So now we've got it on here and I'm gonna switch to the bird's eye view. So you can see what I'm doing. Okay, both sides are attached. Take your fingers, or if you don't want to, you can use like a bone folder or a roller, like if you paper piece, and press these seams so they're nice and flat. There we go. E I'm pressing. There. Now, I'm just going to top stitch so that the seam allowance stays like that. You definitely don't have to. The pouch is functional as is, but I like to have a top stitch there. If you want to switch to a thread that matches, do it now. Maybe switch again. Um, hold on. We're going to go back to the machine. I just put on my Teflon foot again, so I took off my zipper foot and I put on my Teflon foot because now we're going to be sewing on the vinyl. So I just put it in here. I make sure I'm not too tight of a stitch. I'm using a three. If your stitches are too tight or close together, you can perforate the vinyl. So, you know, a three, that's a pretty standard stitch length. That's what I use. Now here's that pull again. It's going to mess me up, so I got to move it. Well, I guess I can just go forward for a little longer. Once in a while, you might find it easier to just take it out and then restart the seam. So that seam allowance is stitched down in place. And I'll trim my threads in a minute. But see, it looks really clean. I like the way it looks. You can, if you want to, um, use a decorative stitch here or zigzag or don't even top stitch. You don't have to. Now, with the Teflon foot, you can see there's no resistance at all. This is just flowing, just perfect. I mean, not perfect. You know what I mean? It's just easy to sew. That's what a Teflon foot does for you. All right, let's switch here. Um, we're going to go back to number one. Yep. So now we will close the sides, close the bottom, and cut our boxed corners. We're just going to do little one inch box corners. Any size you want to make is fine. I personally like a slim pouch for what I'm using this for. You can stack a lot of these on a shelf. 
uh, I don't know, they're just, it's just handy. But if you want to do one and a half, you can. If you want to do two, you can. I wouldn't go bigger than two on this size of a pouch or you're going to have super wide. It can distort the shape. What's wrong? Another cone. Okay. Thank goodness you're here. Are Teflon feet typically an in-stock item at sewing supply store? Uh, I would say yes. It's And especially now, it's become more and more common for people, especially there's a lot of leather sewer, sewists, and they use Teflon foot a lot of times. Uh, if not, I'm pretty sure sewingpartsonline.com uh, has a lot of different Teflon feet for different models of machines. However, that being said, I think it's worth going to your local sewing store and have them order you in one. I think it's worth it. They're gonna make sure it's right and, and that it's compatible. I have had once in a while an online dealer tell me something is compatible with my machine and it's not. And it's funny because it's this 1008, the, the shank for the feet is different. It's very old style compared to the newer machines. And so some online stores don't differentiate that or understand that. Whereas your local sewing shop definitely will. Okay. Hi, Jem. Oh, we have a, someone from Scotland here. Ooh, nice. It's one of our favorite places. We love Scotland. Yeah. Uh, and Dalva says, yes, you can even get a zipper Teflon foot one. And wow, that's amazing. Yeah, the big A. <laughs> we shall not name it. Oh, got it. He's like, what's the big A? Dalva, did I send you your prize from last week in your box? Because I could not remember. And also, Debbie Whitmer, did I send you yours or not? What I'm going to do, if it was such a crazy week. I'm going to send those out today, like as soon as I'm done. No, <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> of course I didn't. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'll get them sent out. Um. You guys, last week was the quilt pouch kit, so we need to send Dalva's and Debbie Whitmer's out oh, yeah. today. And I think... I'll do that. See? He said he'll do it. Say it in Spanish. That's what we want to hear. Lo, lo voy a okay. <laughs> awesome. Um, okay, let's switch to overhead view. <laughs> Here we go. So this is how our pouch looks. At this point, you can trim all your threads and get it all cute and stuff. I won't take a ton of time. You do want this open at least at least halfway. Okay, and then we're gonna fold it together. The zipper is on top. Match your sides and the bottom edge and use clips to hold in place. So I'm going to sew right here, all the way down and all the way across. See how I have space here? I'm not going to sew over the zipper tabs. I've got space just to go right by them. And that'll ensure really nice corners. Okay, so do you feel like swinging that arm over again? It went too far. Okay. That's all right. All right, here we go. I'm going to keep my Teflon foot on for this. I made, I'm just going to move my needle a little to the left so I get right by that zipper tab. I might run out of bobbin. I have another bobbin here. I just want to say that so you don't think it's a mess up. You can do whatever seam allowance you feel like. This this one is more like half an inch that I'm using because I moved my needle over. So it's fine. Quarter inch, half inch, whatever you're using, just stay the same. You can use a decorative stitch here if you want to. Yes, Bob and Chicken, Marianne. 
That's right. I am playing it. Here we're coming up to the top and voila. So the pouch is sewn. We're going to swing back over. I'm going to cut my box corners and we're almost done. Do, do, oh, hold on. Hold on. Let me, so they don't get vertigo. Let me switch this view. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Next time we're just going to do like a woo, yeah. woo. What's that? That's like a cowboy thing. What's that called? Lasso. We're going to lasso you guys. <laughs> what? Um, so we're going to do one inch boxed corners. Now, the way I usually do it is so easy. I just, I have, you know, measuring lines on this cutting mat. So I cut an inch in and I'm from the outer edges. I'm not talking from the seam line, from the outer edges. So I cut my inch there. And then I flip it and I cut my edge here. I almost got that perfect. There it is. Almost. Okay, there's my box. You can also um, mark this first. That's an excellent idea. I always, like Amy and I give good advice, but we don't follow it. <laughs> if you listen to our podcast, you know that. So then I come in from the zipper. And I nest my little corners. So the bottom seam is going to the left. The top seam is going to the right. I'm gonna hold that in place. You want me to zoom that in? Sure, if you wanna if you wanna be zoomy. Yeah, very zoomy. So as you can see, um, this is the boxed corner. Ooh, it needs to focus. Yeah, there is. Okay. Wow. So I come in from the zipper from the top and I push this out. Bottom seam, top seam. And now I'm going to sew that. So when I put it in the machine, I just put it in the bed of the machine like this. And I sew right here. And same for this side. So right across there. I leave on my Teflon foot. And those seams with that clip, they're already pressed down. So as I put it into the machine, let me transition, I can take that clip out. It's already pressed in place. Now I'm going to move my needle back to center. With the clear vinyl, I don't tend to go over the same stitching line because I'm afraid of perforating it. So if you're going to put heavier stuff in this, just do two seams. Like, see how I did that again? I probably shouldn't have. What I would do is do that line and then take another one like right inside of it for strength. That's what I tend to do. Oops. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to this. I think you're good, Lamel. We mm -hmm. can we can let you rest for the time being. Oh, okay. I'm going to trim these threads and the seam just a touch to kind of clean it up a bit. If you want to, you can do a decorative stitch here or serge it. Or if you want to bind it, you can. I am not. You guys know I am not going to mess with that. Yeah, you can switch the um, screen if you want to bring up comments. We're going to get all these threads out the way. So now we're going to flip it right sides out. Now, this 10 gauge I can just do on my own. But I want to show you a trick. In case you're in the Yukon and you're cold and your vinyl is super stiff, or if you're using a 12 or 16 gauge vinyl, um, I got my hair dryer on. I should do like that. Oh, I don't have much hair. Never mind. <laughs> there is a question right here. Okay, I shall get to that. I'm just warming it up. I 
should turn it on high. <laughs> so that's all. It's more squishy, malleable now. Um, is there a reason you don't backstitch at that top edge of the ends of the zipper? Do you mean like at the very top? You can if you want to, but I tend to not backstitch when it's just one layer of clear vinyl, and that's because I don't want to perforate the vinyl. Too many backstitching or lock sticking, lock stitching stitches can perforate your vinyl. So, but you know, honestly, I'm super motorcycle, and a lot of times I just don't lock stitch. <laughs> I hope they know I'm kidding around. <laughs> um, but yeah, you, you can. Yeah, I have another one. Okay, what is it? What's the name of the podcast? The name of the podcast is Seems Funny Podcast. And Seam is S-E-A-M-S. -S. Oh, Ruth already shared it. I oh, good. Thanks, Ruth. Ruth has always got my back. Mm -hmm. Uh. And that's what it is. Yep, it's on Apple and Stitcher and like all the other things. I don't know what they're called. Spotify. Yeah, uh, yeah it's on Spotify too. Uh, there it is. So now I'm just flipping this out. Now this you're gonna have it look like this. You gotta stick your thumb in there and push it out with fervor. <laughs> there it goes. I bet that was a real pretty face. I'm gonna say that is the thumbnail on YouTube. Oh my God. <laughs> There she is. Now she looks all denty at the moment, right? Not for long. Yeah. Can you type? Uh, Smooth as a whistle. Oh, wow. Clean as a whistle, I guess it is. <laughs> Irish Spring, what's with the commercials today? Um, yes, the boxed corners that I did are one inch. So if you, if you came in here like a little bit, I don't know how this works, but you can always go back and watch that as I cut them out. These are one inch. And the measurements for the pouch, I'll put all this in the comments and in the description box on YouTube afterwards, but it's 12 inches wide by eight and a half tall. This is a one inch? Yeah. There you go. One inch box corners. <laughs> Yay! And there it is. It's just so fast. Imagine like a whole rainbow of these and you give them to somebody. That'd be just so cool. We do have some kits in the shop where I have the vinyl already pre-cut and then I have a YKK zipper and two uh, uh, cotton zipper tabs. These are <clears throat> in the shop in various colors if you want a kit or you can just get a big roll and you can get, we should have written this down. These are 48, 12. You can get four pouches out of one roll. I think it was a little left over. Do you use the same size needle for 10 and 12 gauge? I do. I use an 80, a Chrome 80 Microtex needle, and I have those in the shop in case you're wondering where to get them. Uh, I've also, like this just now, wasn't even a Microtex. It's just a Chrome Universal needle and size 80. And that's always, almost always what I use. Sometimes if my bag is really thick, I might switch to a 90, but that's rare. So I can't even remember the last time I did that. I like the chrome because they seem to be a little stronger. Okay, so let's see. I am so darn happy I have found you. I'm happy you are too. I'm happy you found me, Maria. <laughs> Yay. Um... Yeah, Gypsy Robin caught the last half. And remember, you can always go back and watch the first half. So that's fun. Oh, thanks, Jody. These are, I got these from my friend Erin. 
She's at shop. Erin, put your handle if you're here. Shop Lula Row, Erin. Erin, put that in there. <laughs> I love them. I, I live in leggings. Um, okay, is there a measurement for the corners? Do you stay consistent? So do you mean like when we're doing the side seam and the bottom seam? I just stay, so today I used a half inch seam allowance, sewing the sides and the bottom, but I have also used a quarter inch. It really doesn't matter as long as you stay consistent throughout your project for this, for this, is, and you're not sewing over your tabs. Is that what you mean, Kat? I wish there was a way for you guys to do like voice sends. Might have to figure that out, Ramel. I'm on it. There she is. Shop Lula Row, Erin Joe. That's right. That I get a ton of clothes from her because she has good style, good color taste. Just saying. We have a question from Donna. Donna, do you, did you use a number three zipper? So yes, this one is a number three, but it's a YKK. So, uh, you know, like a standard zipper. It's not one of the zipper by the yards. Um, I have number three zipper by the yard in black and white stripes, and I have navy blue and pink. And we have a few more colors coming in soon. I do like number three. It just makes it a little bit of a tighter finished top, if you will. Number five is great too, though. I love number five. It's wider, so there's more room to sew, especially if you don't have a zipper foot yet. Number five can be easier to sew. Whatever you use is fine. You're, you're not wrong. So just saying. The nested seams. Oh, okay. Sewing that. Um, yes. So I use a half inch or a quarter inch seam allowance on the nested seams that we're sewing across as well. Whatever you're using for sides and bottom, use them for sewing across the nested seams as well. Good question. Yeah, I think that's what I, Delva, did I say it right? Did I answer that right? Delva's an expert bag maker. If you go live with StreamYard, it'll be virtual for the chat as well. I am on StreamYard. That's what I'm on right now. I, I think it's, does it not just show automatically in the chat? Because I'm not really. I'm seeing the chat. You're seeing the chat? Okay. Okay, yes, so we got her, good. Yay. All right, what other questions can I answer for you? I have a couple more things to touch on here, so don't go just yet. We have some things to gift. So just a quick recap, 12 by eight and a half on your exterior pieces, one inch boxed corner, your zipper is 11 inches in total length. Um, the zipper tabs I cut were two inch squares and I folded them to the middle and then fold again. So it's like a Pac-Man. Uh, a blow dryer is helpful. A Teflon foot is pretty much a must. Clips, wonder clips of some sort, a must. Uh, helpful items you might want to have in your arsenal if you're going to be sewing vinyl a whacker, a bone folder or presser or rolly tool if you paper piece. Might want to get Teflon coated scissors. Did you just call that a whacker? Yeah, that, yeah, they're called whackers. You didn't know that? No. Um, acrylic ruler, rotary cutter. I think it's easier to cut vinyl with this than, than cutting it with scissors because it's flat on the surface. You can just get it more precise. What else? Um, Amy says, what is the name? What it, oh, Sylvia, what is the name of your podcast? Seems Funny Podcast. And it, Seam is S-E-A-M-S. I hope you give us a listen. Give us a try. Uh, is there a measurement for the, oh, I must have gone up. Sorry. Oh, I did go up. 
Uh, Lori says, love these bags, useful for everything. I have one in my purse that I have a smaller size on my, on my channel, you guys, for like a flat, small one. And in that one, I put lip gloss and some Tylenol and a pocket knife and like a measuring tape and a bobby pin because I'm MacGyver and a few other essentials, you know, and I keep that in my purse at all times. I really, that's called the 10 minute zipper pouch on my channel. In case you want to look that up. I call it a mallet. That's because you're correct. <laughs> it is a rubber mallet. <laughs> I like calling things weird things. That's what I call it. That's what you call it? Yes. All the camera angles were great for this tutorial. Oh, see that? You're helpful. Aww. You're helpful. Thanks, Debbie. Uh, Debbie, you might have answered me earlier, but did I get you your prize from last week yet or not? Have you gotten a package from me this week? I think probably not. I probably, I had good intentions and had it ready to go, and then I don't know where it went. So I'll get that out to you if not. Yeah, that's right. Did you see Dalva's comment? <laughs> yeah. And, and your answer is probably, tranquilo, it's okay. <laughs> okay, uh, let me see here. Hi. Cat knows I have a MacGyver obsession since 1984. It's true. Okay, so I think we've gotten through our questions. That's good. I got a new product in the shop that is super helpful. And Betty Mom isn't here, is she? But I'm sending Betty Mom one. Uh, this is called a zipper jig. And this is how it arrives. And it's got complete instructions on the back. And I think this QR code goes to a demo, but I actually didn't QR it yet. Can you do that, Ramel? Does this go to a demo video? Let's hope it's just not some What's random. That? This QR code um, before I say that. So I got these in the shop because sometimes if you're using zipper by the yard, it can be a challenge to add the pulls. So this has two slots, one for number five zippers and one for number three zippers. It takes you to the store. To the store? Yeah. Well, we don't want you going there. We want you getting it from So Hungry Hippie. <laughs> We're going to block out that QR code. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Good thing I had you check. There's a non-slide surface on the bottom, and these are pretty strong, so they do help. Uh, I don't have a zipper here. You know what I'm going to do? I'll do a short little minute video. Don't you love those? Those are my favorite on YouTube. A minute video on how to attach your pull with this thing. I've got, I think, five of them in the shop, and I know, Peggy, you, you wanted one, so they're good. I had to get them to test out, and I ended up liking them. So that's great. Yay. All right. So there's that. And then what else can I answer for you? Got zippers. We did that. I think that's it. So what I'm going to do this week to make it simpler is uh, I'll have Ramel choose somebody in the comments after we sign off. And we're going to send you a coupon code to get a free kit. Okay, Ramel? Yes. We'll send them a coupon code. So you'll go into the store, SoHungryHippie.com. You'll put this in your cart. You'll go to checkout and then enter your code and it'll be free. So I think that'll just make it simpler because you wouldn't believe the challenge of trying to make labels when you don't have a purchase to make a label for. Does that make sense? <laughs> Probably not. But... That's what we're going to do. So if we tag you and say you won this week, that's what it's for. A free kit. And I'll let you choose your color. Yellow, teal, blue, pink. I think clear might be boring, but it's an option. Okay, so that's what we'll do. Um, yeah, that's true, Carol. It doesn't work for YKK. You want to use... Uh, my like packs of zippers where it's the yard zippers definitely yeah ykk it won't work for them because their poles are the space for their poles is so much smaller so 
This is for my zipper packs that I have in my shop or um, there's a few other people online uh, that have zipper packs and it'll work if it says number five or number three. It won't work for the long by Annie zippers because those are YKK. So yeah, good point. That's true. All right. So there we go. Okay, so there's that this week. Uh, next week, we'll be back with some other kind of demo. If you have a question, you can always email it to me and I'll, if I get uh, several of the same kind of idea, it gives me uh, something to demo. You know what I mean? Because if more than one person has that question, it's definitely demo material. So there we go. Uh, House of Bump, what are YKK? YKK is a brand of zipper. So it would be like, like this. Like if you go to a big box store and you buy a zipper, chances are they're YKK. See how, oh, let me let it focus. It's not going to focus. It's just like a standard zipper where... The focus is very fixed. It's fixed? Yeah. Where usually I'm working with zippers that you just cut to length, however long you need, and then you attach your pull. So that's a difference. Yep. All right. Cool. Like me today, no focus. <laughs> Love it. It's been a week like that for sure. Also, I am doing a little fundraiser on the Facebook page for Ukraine. If you're interested, I'm, I'm, uh, fundraising. I'm, I don't know what to call it. Auctioning off my coat, my quilt coat that I made. So you can either, you can bid on the coat or you can just make like a $5 donation to UNICEF. Both options are on that post. It's pinned to the top of my page. If you want to do that, don't feel guilted into anything. That's not why I say that. Uh, it's just, that's been weighing on me this week. I, for some reason, I feel real unfocused too. I think it's just, you know, the state of the world. And so that's why I want to keep doing these lives also is because we need a chance to come together, feel happy, at least for a bit, learn something and then go make something. Cause I think when we make things, we feel better. It's just, it's, a, a human need to make stuff, whether it's cooking, sewing, doesn't matter, anything, right? It, it just makes you feel accomplished and good. So, all right. So there's that. And then I feel like there was something else, but I'm not remembering it. So if I remember it later, I'll put it in the email. If you want to sign up for email, I send them out on the weekend. Uh, last week I launched VIP, which is very exciting and fun and VIP membership. You can sign up. It's a annual membership fee and you get VIP pricing on vinyl fabric and all strapping and it's for the whole year. <clears throat> so if you're interested in that, check your email from last week and hop on that this week. I'm guess what? I do have something to show you. I made a little pug bed and I'm writing a pattern. It'll be patchwork. There'll be option to have the side as patchwork too. All this is being written up and that pattern, it'll be for sale in my shop. It'll probably be, you know, typical pattern price, eight to $10 or whatever, uh, multiple sizes. However, VIP members will get it for free. So as soon as that's done, that's, it's just like bonus stuff all the time. So it's super fun. Uh, okay. I think that's it. You guys, how fun that was an hour and it felt 20 minutes to me. <laughs> I hope it did you. All right. I want you to have a great weekend, a great rest of the day. I'll see you next week. Feel free to say hi to me anywhere on social media. I will respond as soon as I see it. Take care of you and see you soon.